as sort of an application, I guess, of the cross product, uh, we're going to try to find the distance from a point to a line. So uh, what we're going to know is uh, we have a point and a line, and let's say that we can figure out two points that are on the line. So I'm going to call them B and C. And what I'll do is uh, I'm just going to find the vector um, from B to A and the vector from B to C, and then turn that into a parallelogram. And I know that to find the area of the parallelogram, it's going to just be the magnitude of the cross product, so the magnitude of BA crossed with BC. Uh, that would give me the area of the parallelogram. And I also know that the area of the parallelogram is base times height. And if you look at the parallelogram, uh, we can say that uh, the height is kind of dropped down from A to the line. Um, that's what we're trying to find. That height is actually the distance from the point to the line. So the magnitude of this cross product is the base, which is actually just the magnitude of BC, the vector BC, and then times the height, which is that distance that we're looking for, which means that the height is the magnitude of the cross product um, divided by the magnitude of BC, so that's the vector running along the line. Um, so we can kind of summarize that and say that the distance uh, from a point A to a line that contains the points uh, B and C is given by the magnitude of BA crossed with BC divided by the magnitude of BC. Uh, so let's do a problem. So we want the distance from the point 1, 4, negative 2 to the line containing 3, 1, negative 2, and 6, negative 2, 1. There are actually other ways of doing this, but uh, I'm just practicing using the cross product, and also this will always work. So uh, if you can find two points on a line, you can always use this method. So let's say that this is my picture. I'm not drawing the line right now, but it goes through the green and purple dots. And I'm going to make my two vectors. So that vector, which I'll ultimately call V, and this vector, which I'll call W. So to find V, it's going to be um, the, the basically like the point 1, 4, negative 2 minus the point 3, 1, negative 2. So it's uh, from terminal minus initial, which gives me negative 2, 3, 0. Uh, w, it's going to be terminal minus initial again. So they have the same initial point, which is kind of key to this, which gives me 3, negative 3, 3. And then I calculated the cross product, uh, V cross W, and I ended up getting this, so you can kind of confirm that. I got 9, 6, negative 3. So the distance that I'm looking for is going to be the magnitude of the cross product divided by the magnitude of W in this case. Um, so that I actually uh, worked out kind of on my own. Magnitudes aren't very hard to find. Uh, so the magnitude of V cross W worked out to 3 root 14, and then I'm going to divide by the magnitude of W, which turned out to just be 3 root 3. The 3's obviously cancel. And I get radical 14 over radical 3. You might rationalize that, whatever. And just so you're clear on what happened, here's uh, the picture again with the actual line drawn in. And we find this height, which is the distance from the point to the line. And that is the uh, radical 14 over radical 3. So that's an application of the cross product. It can help you find uh, the distance from a point to a line. So I hope you found that helpful. Good luck.